Hi, this is JT Martin, and today I want to talk about list building with JV giveaways. I'm going to show you how to use a PLO product to put people into your marketing funnel. I'm going to show you how to set one up today and use it as a gift to contribute in a JV giveaway. Now, there's several things that you're going to need to do this. You need a hosting with domain name. You're going to need an Aweber account. Now, there's other autoresponders out there, but as far as deliverability, which is the most important factor in an autoresponder, Aweber is the best, in my opinion. You're going to need a PLR product, which, by the way, PLR, if you don't know, stands for Private Label Rights. That basically means you can take a product and do anything you want with it. For the most part, some have restrictions, and that's why I say that you have to have, make sure you're able to give it away for free. All products will come with a license and it'll spec out what, what you're a allowed to do with it. You want to make sure if you're purchasing private label right products that you do have the right to give it away if you're going to use it for giveaways. You're going to have to create an opt-in page, a thank you page, a download page, and a special offer or upsell which is optional but if you want to monetize and get actually get paid for building your list this is something that I recommend now hopefully you've gone to jtmartin.net and downloaded your free PLR products that I'm giving away for everybody to use in JV giveaways now today I'm going to take this uh, YouTube Revolution product right here. That's what it'll look like after you unzip the file. Um, we're going to take the website here. Now there's already a download page made, but we're going to we're going to change that. Now what you're going to do? Open up the index page. You see this is just a sales letter. Okay. All I'm interested in right now is the header, the footer, and uh, we're going to put our opt-in form in this little box right here. So what, what I'm going to do is open up my HTML editor. Uh, hopefully you have a what you see is what you get editor that if you don't know HTML it makes it a lot easier for you. So I'm going to open this up. Now here is where you're going to save it as whatever file you want to name it. Uh, it depends on what you're, where you're going to put host this file at. You have several options. If you're going to put it, say, on your blog domain that you already have, which would be yourdomain.com, you can just give it a file name and then your address will look like and that'll be uh, the address that you give to the JV giveaway. Now I like to use subdomains but I have an unlimited hosting account so mine's gonna say YouTube Revolution dot to whammy.com and then I'm just going to leave the name of the file as index so when anybody types that in it'll it, it'll go directly to this site I it, it, the file name will just be index anyway so what we're going to do now that we've got this open in our editor we're going to come in here and get rid of all this just going to delete it Keep the box. Delete that. And delete this little bit right here.
say enter your or here we can just say fill out the form you can put whatever you want here basically a call to action tell them to fill out the form fill out the form to gain free access Doctor this up a little bit. Center it. Let's make this bold a little bigger. Whoops, too big. Center that and let's color it up a little bit. Okay, right here we're going to put our Aweber form, delete that, and I've already created the Aweber, code, now when you put in the code you can't just if you're using the what you see what you get editor you can't put it on this part you have to go up to the to the HTML code insert that refresh now it won't show on the editor it'll show on the website we're gonna check it here in a second now I always add, like to add a little plug here at the bottom little link to the site always link back to your blog open in a new window and then I always put a link here to my giveaway page which is at marketersmantras.com okay now we're going to save it and then we have to upload it to our site See, I've set up the subdomain already. Uh, I've already done a little test run here, so I'm just going to go right over this. Overwrite it. Uh, you'll see here I've already uploaded my PDF file, which is also in the uh, same file right here. It's in their ebook PDF, which I've renamed it. So. Okay, now, something you have to also do is upload the images, which I've already drug them, just drag them over there. Make sure your images are there or your header and footer images won't show up. Okay, so let's check it. Okay, and there you've got it.